Hi, this is Real Author Life right here. I went to great homeschool conventions for the very first time in March 2021, and it was one of the biggest conventions I had ever been a part of. I was a bit unprepared for how big it was, in fact, and I actually sold out of all my books before the end. So it was an easy decision to come again this year, this time with twice as many books. We have a total of 104 books coming with us. An event this big is always going to be a little chaotic for me. <laughs> Good morning! We are leaving today for great homeschool conventions. And I am very, very excited. This is all my books and promotional equipment. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. We're loading everything in to my booth, which is number 916. And we forgot to bring our dolly trolley thing, so. So we just have to make a bunch of trips back and forth. Does that look good? Or does that look weird? It should be like this. Mm. What do you think? Da? Da, 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 da. Mm. Go? Look, a banner. It's, it has Millie's face on it. So does this. Face. And another Millie face. <laughs> Her table. It's pretty messy right now. Oh, what, oh chocolates. That, th these are chocolates. They have chocolate inside. If you hold up the QR code, then they can buy it on Amazon. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. You should buy this book. It's blurry. It, why isn't... It, there we go. You should buy this. All right, let's go behind the scenes. It's even a bigger mess back It's here. a big mess over here. Uh, this is her messy backpack. And um, this is where she keeps her books. And that is full... Of, that pillowcase is full of pictures of her book. Hi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nay, nay. What are we across from that you're excited about? An L. <laughs> the owl was in good company because right next to us there was a booth for a summer camp which had several animals as well, including this hedgehog named Fluff. Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. And now we are back again for our first. Full day. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down. That was a very thoughtful Millie moment When you bit into that apple You looked so thoughtful It is lunchtime 
which means there's a slight lull in the number of people coming. Our dad brought us lunch. Um, he brought us a, like a little trunk thing full of lunch. And we thought he just bought, brought us like a bag of bread because there was like a bread bag in there, but it was actually our sandwiches in a bread bag. But we were confused for a moment. We have sold more than half of the books I brought, which is crazy because it is day two and I brought twice as many books, yet I've still sold more than half at this point. We might sell out again, we will see. I'm mostly feeling happy, but also kind of tired, and I you're, want a cup of tea. You're always happy and wanting a cup of tea. That's true. It is the end of day one and we sold, I think it was 77 books. So I think we might sell out tomorrow, which is insane because I literally brought twice as many as last time so I wouldn't sell out. <laughs> See, where are we going? I don't know. I think we have to go this way. Yes, there's the exit, there's the stairs. Down? Yes. We are back. What has just I, happened? I just, well, I sold out of, honey, of I sold out of Lydia Green and Mulberry Glen. Let's Show them. Sold out. Sold out and sold out. More sold out. <laughs> but we did make this. I can't believe that happened. Six honey butter that will soon be gone. We have exactly one book left at this table. And then we will be sold out. <laughs> so I'm here with, what's your name? Elsa. Elsa. And you are? Sawyer. Sawyer. And they bought my book. And you've already read it? A little bit. You've read a little bit. And it's really good. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Okay, we are sold out, and it's time to leave, because it's 10 p.m. Ah, <laughs> what am I saying? It is, it is 5.30, and it is time to pack up and leave, which is sad, but also exciting, because I sold all my books, so. <laughs> So we packed up and celebrated selling out with calzones and ice cream, as you do. The truth is, 104 books actually isn't a lot in the publishing world, but it is a lot to me. When I'm at an event like this, I don't really feel like I'm selling something, but more as though I'm finding a good home for every book. It sounds a bit silly maybe, but it's true. I put a piece of myself into every story I write, and when I'm able to give that to someone else, I feel like the luckiest person in the world. So thank you to everyone who has taken a chance with my stories. And if you haven't yet, but you'd like to, you can read my first book, Honey Butter, for free. I hope it finds a good home with you. Even if the sky is falling down